players. Great respect for Penn State. Good job. Good win. We obviously left some plays on the field today. Um, we had a lot of guys get hurt. As we always talk about how special our players are. These guys kept stepping up and stepping in. We just we weren't able to make the plays we needed to make today. So um, I'm disappointed in that for our players. Um, it's hard to, to watch that. It's hard to see that uh, happen. Uh, when you know how bad they wanted, obviously how bad they wanted for our senior, really for everybody. And um, we had to got just I've got a list of how many guys who came in or hurt, the guys who were hurt throughout the game and the kids kept playing so hard. We just didn't we just didn't make the plays uh, to win the game. So uh, again credit to our opponent but uh, so proud of our football team. Really, really proud of our team and uh, our entire building. And I say it a lot. Our building, our equipment staff and our managers, how hard they work to pick all the slack up through this. Our medical staff and our trainers, our, our, our weight room staff and all those guys in that room. Our nutrition staff and everybody that cooks the food for us. Our academic staff who obviously everybody had all kind of hats throughout this deal. So I love our players, and they deserve all, deserve all the credit. But everybody in our building did a great job. And it stinks that we didn't win today. And it really stinks the last two games we came up three points short. But this is one hell of a season, one hell of a group of kids. And as a staff, we're really proud. Meyer Consulting Engineers. In the past five years, our organization has completed over 1,300 projects in the U.S. and abroad, including many structures at the University of Maryland. For structural engineering and materials testing and inspection, call Meyer Consulting Engineers. physically you need to be, and, and, and if today was a sort of a combination of both physical and emotional toll on, on a team. Um, just like folks said, um, really just the whole building, just sticking together, um, working through everything that we've been through, um, and staying this month for, for real for us. So um, that was the key, just staying together. Like you said, unfortunately we came up short with some things, and some things we wish we can get back, but just got to keep moving forward. For either or both, could you guys just describe what you learned this season and dealing with something that you probably had come close to dealing with? Um, you know, this season was filled with adversity. Just like battling through adversity, that's like the biggest thing that we call it this season. And like to say, like, for a group of guys, like especially as us, we lost our teammate, and to keep battling it through game and game out, you know, I can't say that I'm proud of that. Given, given the way your career has gone, um, did, what what do you gain from this season? You know, in terms of not only on the field but off the field. Well, I've been through a lot of adversity and things like that throughout my career. Um, the biggest thing that I gained from this year uh, was just being the leader to the younger guys. Um, who has got a, a big, yeah, a bright future. Each and every one of them, they're very good. Um, and they can take coaching. That's the one big thing that some players don't have. Just to be able to lead them and, and guide them along the, along their journey and to be a part of their journey is what's kind of cool. So that was the biggest um, thing I could take away from this year. Um, I'm curious, you guys have How difficult is it to have these last four games all with the chance to go to a bowl? Um, obviously, all in the you are so close to getting out of your game. Yeah, I'm just more adverse. Just got to keep that one and do it. Uh, to come up short, you know, it's disappointing, but each week we got to show up to play. Yeah. This, is, this is how it is, college football. Uh, Tavon, there's, there's a lot of young players on this team. How have you left your mark on some of these younger guys who have to now come and play for the rest of the career? Um, 
it, it really all started in the uh, off season or spring and the summer and, and, kind of, and, and those sort of things. So I just teaching them about work ethic. You know, they're already good players when they come in from high school. Um, just teaching them how to work and how to practice because that, that's key. You know, you can you can be a, a good practice player, but if you can carry it over to the, to the field and to the game, uh, it, it boosts your, your level up even more. So just kind of working with them, working with their work ethic, uh, being coachable and things like that. On the defensive side, uh, you guys actually had some pretty good games this year. What's it like and what are you going to remember from playing with Cowart with playing with Jesse Anybottom and having that group together? Um, you know, on the defensive side, we just try to all stay together, play as brothers. And, like, these past few games, we've been turning it up, just trying to play, like, trying to win bowl eligibility. So, like, for my brothers, I'll do anything. So, in these games, that's what we know just playing ball. Last one, time. Three of the players, um, when you come in to a game like this and they immediately score a touchdown the first, first time out, first possession, um, does that put you back on your heels at all, or do you, you just go on business as usual, just step up? Um, it's just like what we've been making at each every time. Um, just that first, you know, uh, it was a step back, and we just had to respond. We didn't respond how we wanted to, and they carried over. Um, but they got a response. Thanks, guys.